there are very few male Sayu out there that you can genuinely say are vocal chameleons. Sayu that take a lot of pride in their craft, always pushing themselves towards sounding like intended for their characters, giving life to the characters a voice in a way that makes them unique. To be able to become a character at the snap of the finger, to be able to sound unrecognizable from work to work, to always want to give their best towards embodying the characters the original creators crafted instead of having those tailored to their requests. And to pull all those things off, not only on record, but also live. This is an episode all about the vocal chameleons, singers, among male Seiyuu and how impressive and important they are to the Seiyuu and music industries. Let's kick off this episode of Seiyuu Lounge. <laughs> Welcome to Seu Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is Vocal Chameleons Among Seiyuu. A note that, in case you haven't noticed, Seiyuu Lounge is a podcast about male Seiyuu with a focus primarily on the music side. So when I refer to vocal chameleons, I'm talking about singing, not acting. This is an important distinction to make, however, it wouldn't change much about this episode because the Seiyuu you and I are going to talk about also happen to be vocal chameleons in their acting for anime, games and drama CDs. What is a vocal chameleon? Usually you'll refer to a vocal chameleon when you notice, in this case, a Seiyuu that never or seldom sings with the same voice tone and most of the time is unrecognizable. The chameleon is able to embody different characters, have a unique singing style for all or most of them and sing with a really high standard for all of them regardless if one character is supposed to be a tenor and another is supposed to be a bass. Why are they important for the Seiyuu and music industries? Most Seiyuu tend to sing with their normal voices. This is not wrong at all, but it makes it so that whichever character they voice will always sound the same, with the technique having only slight nuances between all characters that specific Seiyuu voices. A vocal chameleon is a rare sight. While most of us would believe that all Seiyuu are able to voice different characters that they could pull off, the same as singers, that doesn't happen, at least not with the same quality. And that is because singers among Seiyuu that have a wide vocal range and are almost obsessive with perfecting their craft are rare. And good singers among Seiyuu are many, but not all. But you'll say, some of the Seiyuu you are going to mention only have three or four variations to their singing. To which I return the question to you. Do they? Have you heard them sing in more than just the popular projects they are a part of? Perhaps check their solo careers, as some are accomplished solo artists, and notice that they always pull something new with their solo career and character songs in no way overlapping in singing style and technique? Vocal chameleons are essential in the Seiyuu industry. 2D music projects love to bring in characters that have a complex combo of speaking and singing voice. Sometimes the characters are just titled Genius Singer and who do you look for in those cases? The Chameleon, as they are able to deliver a high-quality performance while oozing that genius aura due to their otherworldly versatility. So they are important, if not to voice complex characters, at least to add a bit of a star factor and quality on the vocal end to those 2D music projects. What sets them apart from everyone else? The ability to craft unique singing voices, sometimes tapping into different vocal ranges, tenor, baritone and bass and being able to come up and pull off unique quirks that set that character apart from all others within a project as well as within their repertoire. 
and beyond their vocal range, these chameleons can even pull off to perfection a four baritone or bass singing style, something commonly found in visual K music, something that is not easy at all to pull off. They can genuinely sound unrecognizable between performances and characters. They can, within the same performance, sing as two different characters with completely different voice tones and ranges and deliver two insanely good performances while other say you struggle with their normal singing tone. Vocal chameleons are crazy good. The chameleons. And after all this talk about how impressive and technical these singers among males say you are, it's time to talk a bit more about them. As I said before, there are very few vocal chameleons among male say you. So in this episode, let's talk briefly about each one and in the upcoming episodes, let's dedicate some time to cover each of them in depth. I'm kicking off with the chameleon among chameleons, Toshiki Toyanaga. Are you even surprised? Regardless if you are a fan or not, it is inevitable that you'll come across Toyanaga in a 2D music project. The genius singer-songwriter has been a staple of quality and versatility and thus is currently the most active seiyuu in 2D music projects with over 15 credits in projects that cover music genres such as rock, pop, hip-hop, enka, eurobeat, acid jazz, among many more. Toshiki Toyonaga is best known for his crystal clear tenor voice, but what continuously impresses his fans or anyone that comes across his performances is how ridiculously wide his vocal range is. He can be a bass singer, albeit he's really pushing his vocals to the limit, sound like a natural baritone and, of course, has full tenor range, at times tapping into female vocal range when he goes really high. Then his technique is second to none. Vibrato falsetto head voice is actually a master when it comes to head voice. Legatos, crescendos and to top it all off, constant changes of tempo are no problem for him as he adapts his singing on the fly. Listening to Toshiki Toyonagi is a fantastic experience. It's that time when you come across a talent that is so perfect and so masterful at their craft that you can't help but to gasp in awe. Has Toyonaga ever had bad performances in his career? Yes, but not because of his technique or singing skills, it was due to a very specific 2D music project insisting on having him sing almost fully in English in a song, something that Toyonaga struggles a little bit with. Of course, cut him some slack because knowing how to sing in English and being clear in his pronunciation is a tall order. Few, very few, are the seiyuu that are able to sing in Japanese and English and sound almost seamless in both. That is not their singing skill, but their knowledge of foreign languages. You can find Toyonaga singing as young kids, androgynous characters, rough, aggressive characters or crazy as hell characters. You can find him performing songs using his wide vocal range that goes from four bass to pure tenor. And if you dive into his solo career, you'll find a whole new world when it comes to his performances. He goes as far as composing, writing songs and playing a wide variety of instruments in almost all music genres. And surprise, he fits them all perfectly. If you're talking about THE vocal chameleon among male seiyuu, you're talking about Toshiki Toyonaga, a vocal chameleon that is on route to becoming one of the best singers among male seiyuu is Soma Saito. It is undeniable for those that listen to his songs and dive deep into his compositions and lyrics that he is a generational talent. One of a kind as a singer-songwriter, a fantastic storyteller, the best among seiyuu artists. However, for this feature, I'm not looking for talking about his outstanding skills as a singer-songwriter, skills that are praised by professional singers, composers, rappers and visual K artists, but about his versatility as a singer. Contrary to Toshiki Toyonaga, Soma Saito wasn't right off the bat a fantastic singer. He had a really high level, especially in 2015, 
when he started to join 2D Music Projects. He was indeed already standing out among well-known seiyu, but he was far from being considered a top singer or with a technique that impressed. And thus he started to join more and more 2D Music Projects, being to this day one of the busiest seiyu when it comes to being cast in 2D Music Projects. He's got over 10 credits, most of those in the incredibly popular and successful projects, something that has given him a lot of visibility over the years. Initially, he struggled a bit with finding a voice for his characters, and technical performances used to be a challenge for him, with recording sounding perfect but live performances deeply lacking the same quality. As soon as he sorted himself out as a performer for 2D music projects, he started to outshine all other seiyu windows. And it was in 2D music projects that Saito started to showcase that he is actually a vocal chameleon. More than performing a song in the character's voice, Saito makes sure that that character's singing to feel and sound unique. There is always a quirk to the characters he voices that make it so that the character he performs as has the same style and singing tone. But that is not enough to call him a vocal chameleon. The vocal transformations are. In 2015 he joined Fly Me Project, the pioneer 2D Visual K music project that unfortunately wasn't well received giving its bad timing when it launched. And he dazzled everyone that was following it. He was unrecognizable as a singer, fully embracing Visual K's trademark for baritone style of singing while absorbing quirks from Kansai's artists, the Rolling R's being a good example of that. He was performing Screamo. That was the very first time that the Seiyu performed the song for a 2D music project with Screamo, and it was certainly a memorable one. After that, he impressed with musical style of singing in Dance with Devils. He fully embraces the role of a rock frontman in the Dear Vocalist franchise. He can sing as twins and each, within the same track, sounds completely different. As a solo artist, he's a master at falsetto, being able to sustain that technique for more than just a chorus, and has been building up his skill set with a vibrato that has been growing in power. Not to mention he's one of the cast members in Hypnosis Mike with a natural, unique rap flow right from the start. Rock, pop, jazz, electronica, traditional Japanese songs, ballads, R&B and metal are just some of the music genres Soma Saito sounds incredibly natural performing. Although he is not a flashy type of singer, he's definitely one of the most versatile and technical chameleons out there. Now we dive into the underappreciated vocal chameleons. Takuya Gucci suits this description with his ability to perform as characters across the tenor and bass vocal ranges. It's quite impressive how Eguchi does it. While he's not a massively technical singer like Toshiki Toyonaga or Soma Saito, what he lacks in that department he compensates with powerful, believable performances in whichever vocal range you ask him to perform in. He can sound insanely low like he does as Shiki, Solid's leader in the Tsuki Pro franchise, he can sound haunty and regal like he does as Hibiki with Fine in the Ensemble Stars franchise, have a comfortable singing tone in his low tenor, high baritone vocal range as a solo artist. He can do R&B, riffing, rapping, singing, screaming, clean singing, harmonies, not to mention that he does have a good vibrato and falsetto. While it may not sound like it, Takuya Gucci is undoubtedly one of the vocal chameleons out there, able to take in any challenge on the vocal end and absolutely nail it. Ayumu Murase is yet another chameleon and is one that I believe very few people notice. He is, simply put, a singer with a massive vocal range. He is a natural tenor and shows that with Fine in the Ensemble Stars franchise, but there's more to his vocal range. He's best known for using his tenor high range, but what is surprising is that he's actually got a full baritone range 
on top of that. Murase has a unique vocal range. It is among the widest for male Sayu. He's got the full baritone and tenor ranges and can tap into the bass range with relative ease. That's unheard of. That alone makes Murase one of the most unique singers among male Sayu, and I am not talking about his singing tone, but his vocal range. Murase can sing in a high key as he does with Fine in the Ensemble Stars and Mofu Mofue in the Idol Master Side M franchise. He can go low like he does as part of Bay in the Paradox Live franchise. He can sing in baritone range like he did for Crystal Cross in the Bandiaroze franchise. He can sing in English and Japanese and transition between both languages seamlessly. He is even sang in Korean as part of Bay. It is crazy how talented he is, and it is even crazier that people don't appreciate him more. Tomoaki Maino is the other Seiyu part of the very exclusive group of vocal chameleons among male Seiyu. He is a singer that can, within the same song, perform in a completely polarizing tone, a singer that has a technique that shines, a Seiyu that is consistently singing in various positions baritone, bass and tenor, and absolutely nails all of those. To this day, his performance of Double Face as Camas in the Utapri franchise still makes my jaw drop. On stage he performed as two personas within the same character, and he had a vibe, a look and a voice tone that were completely different, being triggered by the hand with which he was grabbing the mic stand. While it was a show that he's a good actor, it's also a show that he's a fantastic singer, as transitions between both personas were swift and smooth. He can sing higher pitched and bubbly as young man, like he does for Trickstar in the Ensemble Stars franchise, really low and regal-like, like he does as Camas in the Utapri franchise, and have a sweet, gentle tone, or even be a pure bass singer, emulating a contrabass, as part of Lil Happy in the Aopella franchise. While he may not be the flashiest vocal chameleon out there, he does have a range technique and quality that make him and his performances one of a kind. I can't believe how underappreciated he is when he's this awesome as a singer. And this was a quick look at the vocal chameleons among male Sayu that we know, they know, and everybody knows are one of a kind. The best voice actors are found in here. They are vocal chameleons, even if they are not singers. However, if they are singers, things get increasingly impressive, to the point that you genuinely can't even recognize them as they sing or will be with the mouth ajar as they take the stage as the characters they voice, keeping it consistently and with a really high quality for two, three or four hours of an event. So yeah, at least I believe the best voice actors are found among vocal chameleons, and that is because it is not easy to become someone else even as you are acting it. To be able to pull off vocal ranges that are far, well far away from their normal ones as singers. They are impressive and thus they should be celebrated and get the spotlight more often on them. Now tell me, what is your definition of a good voice actor? And do you believe there are other Seiyuu with potential to become vocal chameleons? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Seiyuu Lounge. 
hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the Hand at Feeds HQ's weekly mail say you and music related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Say You Lounge. Thank you for listening and see you guys around.